we're going to look at how chemical potential changes with pressure for a single component. And in this screencast, we're interested in the transition between vapor and solid as we change the pressure. And so the equation that describes the behavior is the change in Gibbs free energy single component depends on volume and entropy. And we're looking at the case at constant temperature. So we're just looking at the change in pressure. So this term is zero. And then for a single component, the Gibbs free energy is the same as the chemical potential. That's for a single component. So then this determines how, as we change pressure, we change chemical potential. It says the chemical potential increases. And because the volume of a vapor is usually actually significantly greater than the volume of a solid, we expect the volume, we ex excuse me, we expect the chemical potential of the vapor to increase a lot more as we increase the pressure. So let's look at a diagram that shows these plots. Okay, so here you see in the plot a chemical potential as a function of pressure that the slope for the vapor line is much larger than the slope for the solid line because the volume of the vapor is much larger. The lower the phase with the lower chemical potential is the stable phase, so the solid lines correspond to the stable phase. Low pressure vapor, high pressure solid. The intersection then is the sublimation point where we have phase equilibrium and chemical potentials. The two phases are the same at equilibrium. Now notice it says that the temperature, remember this is, this is a drawing at one temperature, the temperature is lower than the triple point temperature, and this is important. And the easiest way to see this is to look at a pressure temperature diagram. So on the pressure temperature diagram, we're saying we have to be lower than, this is the triple point, so this triple point temperature, we have to be lower than that temperature to have solid vapor, excuse me, to have solid vapor equilibrium. At higher temperatures, as we change pressure, vapor goes into liquid phase, but at lower temperatures, the vapor goes into the solid phase as we increase the pressure. 